Hello nail friends, this is Honey Doll Nails back again with another video, my reaction to nail trends. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that you may be notified of all future videos. All right, let's jump right in. The first picture is Nail Sunny, and Nail Sunny is a nail novice. She can do some awesome nails. And as you can see, she's done some teeth with cavities. I don't even know what to say about that, but. Okay, here's another picture. <laughs> this person has put toothbrush heads on their nails. Not very practical, but interesting. All right, here we are again with Nail Sunny and noses on French tips. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And here she has put some mustaches or some hair underneath the noses to give it mustaches. The little Hitler one is a little bit much. So here we have the horrifying nail trends online by Sweetie High. And as you can see, here is a eye with lashes and red eye. Ugh. All right, so here we have Scary Halloween Nails, and this is Edward Scissorhands. These nail trends are just way, way out there for me. I mean, I would not wear, it's, look at this, it's hair. They must be press-ons because there would be no way for you to wash. I'm just saying. There's some things, it's just too much. Okay, this person actually has a full set on of some... Ugly nail ideas from acrylic nail infos with them bats. Okay, this looks like the coral reef. It looks like it's something from under the water. It looks very creepy. Oh, I'm just so disgusted. Every time I look at this, it actually makes my skin crawl. This is chicken feet. That's what it looks like on some nails, hairy nails. It gives me tarantula vibes, especially the brown one. And they actually pose for that. Swiss army nails. Never go anywhere without your bottle or opener or corkscrew. <laughs> Pizza nails. The ugliest designs to make you cringe, 107 pictures. Now mind you, you only got to the first one. The first picture did enough. <laughs> this one was very cute. I liked it. The cheese holes with the mice going in and out, but it looks like the mice were actually eating her nails. So this is very creative. Whoever came up with that, genius. Oyster nails. This really turned my stomach because oysters are slimy and they actually did a good job with this, I have to say. This is what I want and what I try to do. Um, pretty good. The cuticle work is not that good, but otherwise it's a cute design. Okay, this is the expectation and the reality. The reality is that the expectation really wasn't that good in the beginning. Okay, the lines are really not that good on the expectation. So what do you expect? Okay, these are candy corns. Uh, these people need to take my class. I'm sorry, they do. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm the best nail tech in the world. I'm not. But I'm just, what I'm saying is, is that the, the technique is so off. Uh, anybody with glue and some paint and some press-ons can do nails, I guess. Uh these are oval eggs. Cuticles are fried. But some people like their nails that way. This is called the Polish Mountain, the gel Polish Mountain. The only one that I've ever seen do a good job at that is uh, Kirsty Mickens or Neo Nails. You can find her on YouTube. Okay, these nails have way too much 3D going on. They're really cute, but Way too much 3D. Okay, this is the Tokyo Nail Expo. And when you go to a nail expo, the nails are supposed to look like this. They're supposed to be extravagant, over the top. 
These are kawaii's, extreme kawaii's. I think they're beautiful. All right, duck nails. These are called duck nails. They are interesting to say the least. I like duck nails when they're not too wide. Okay, this person just tapes some M&Ms to their nails to give you the illusion of bubble nails. And the next couple of nails that you will see are called bubble nails. All right, and this is a set right here. These are called bubble curves. Cute look, nice cuticle work. These are some deep curves. But you can see why people say they look like m and sitting on the finger. No disrespect. Okay, now I don't know if these are the people's real toenails or their tips, but those sharp ones at the bottom, the burgundy ones, ouch. Ouch, that's all I have to say. Sometimes you have to cut a hole out of your shoe to let your toenails breathe. This woman has got it straight off. Just cut a hole in some sneakers. The toenails can be so long, they can be deadly, but there are some people that have foot fetishes that love long toenails. Not only do they love long toenails, but they love feet. These nails are so long, they're starting to curl. So you know that they're real. You can see the brown underneath the bottom. Nails is just dead cells. That's what we learned in school, dead sales. And this person really did a good job with selecting a pair of shoes that did not leave their toenails dragging the ground. I honestly have to give this woman kudos. Okay, so here we are with some extra long real nails. This guy's been growing his nails for years. Check out the next picture. He was in the Guinness Book of Records. He's been growing his nails a long time, 77 inches. But as you can see, the other hand is free. He's a smart man. And this woman has a beautiful set of nails. She's our last um, nail pictures for the evening. Her nails are very beautiful. I think she kept her nails for like 30 years. And then after that, she cut them off. But her nails were absolutely fantastic. So thank you for watching this video with me my reaction to nail trends. If you like this video and would like to see more videos like this, then please be sure to leave a comment down below. And I hope you all are doing well today. I'd like to thank everyone that subscribes to the channel. And like I always say, if you would like to get some services from me, here is a price list. Have a wonderful and blessed day until we see each other again.